All right, guys, I'm gonna try to do another quick video here on a carrier products. Got a carrier here, similar problem that the Lennox I had a few weeks ago I showed you, where it's a carrier unit with an economizer. It's a six ton unit with a single compressor in it. And it's tucked around the other side. I was here and I tested out the economizer today. I'm going to start by showing you guys the hardware and then we'll run through a test out process here. So first, hardware. You guys have all seen these a million times because we all work on them. I got my little dry erase board up here from the first video I did. But actuator, black box actuator, logic module mounted on top. Whenever you've got a logic module mounted on top of the black box, I know this is a 7400 series motor and module. So this is a resistance style motor. This is not a motor you can test with a 9 volt battery. This is not 2 to 10 volts DC to drive this actuator. But the logic module plugs in to the front. Just so you guys know how that works. There's a little screw here that holds it down. So I'm just going to quickly go over the hardware. So that's the actuator and module. Underneath the hood here I've removed the economizer screen. The hood here is an electrical print from Micro Metal. Here's your enthalpy sensor, and next to it here is the com low ambient compressor lockout that I that I mentioned in that first video I did. The low ambient lockout, the blue line between the Y2 on the terminal strip and the, and the module, it simply locks out the compressors when it's below 45 degrees outside. So the only cooling available then is the economizer in this unit. You don't want to run a compressor when it's 45 degrees outside if you don't need to. If it's 45 degrees outside, 45 degree air is more than enough, more than adequate to cool a store off. So I'm going to pull off the blower door here quick. Apologize I don't have a cameraman here today everyone, but uh, again, blower section. I'm going to zoom right in over here on the banana, as we all call it, or a lot of us call it, this is the mixed air temp sensor. There's different versions of this sensor, everyone, but this sensor comes shipped loose with the economizer when you install a new unit. It does not come in the unit from carrier. It's an option. You have to install this sensor over here in the blower section. These two wires from carrier are here pre-wired with the female plugs on them, the purple and violet. If you do not install this sensor and install any, uh, any economizer, the unit will not mix. The dampers will never drive open at all unless you set minimum position on them. It's the only thing they will respond to. They will, it'll never economize and function without that mixed air sensor hooked up. Another tip is if you short those wires on that mixed air sensor, it will never economize either on this style of unit. So, we're going to go over here and do a quick checkout on this unit. It's similar to what I did on that Lennox a couple weeks ago. Let me put my meter in here, guys. Hoping you can see that in this vantage point. Doing the best I can here today. So I'm going to go to the top two terminals on the logic module, TR and TR1. Hot. I've got 22 volts. So I know my module's got power to it. I've disconnected the SO and plus wires here, guys. The second pair of terminals down from the top, you can see that. That's for the enthalpy sensor. Uh, we've all talked about that. I have got a jumper here somewhere that I just had. It's on the roof. I apologize, guys. The wind blew it off. It's as quick as I can. I'm plugging in my little jumper for on the logic module or where the SO and plus wires came off, where I took them off. And that fools the economizer into thinking I'm okay to economize. You can see that the red light just came on. You guys probably heard that. The compressor shut off. Condenser fan is... It's not just the video, it's actually winding down to a stop. And as you can see, the dampers, 
This is the outdoor damper. The indoor damper is below, but this damper is starting to drive open. So it's economizing. But here's the interesting part, like I mentioned to you guys, is uh, this unit, I tested it. I'll test it here just to show you guys so you're comfortable with this. I put my black one on the common in the top right corner of the module. Terminal 1 here, the blue wire, is Y1. And if you guys can see that on my meter, I hope you can. So I've got a call for Y1, and if I go here to Y, the yellow wire is my meter in here. The yellow wire is Y2, terminal 3 here on the front of the logic module, and I don't have any power there. And I know I've got a call for Y1 and Y2, or I assume I do, at the terminal strip. And remember Y1, Y2 here. Y2 comes in to terminal 3. So we're going to go over to the control box side of this unit. I'll show you what I found on this unit when I got here. I've got a Y1 and Y2 on this side. But what I noticed here is on the back side, the factory side, someone, there's no yellow Y2 wire coming out the back. I can see that it's been tucked in here. So someone disconnected it because they probably thought they didn't need it. I don't know if you guys heard that. As I plugged that in, I'll unplug it again so you can see it. When I plug in that Y2, the compressor started as the second stage of cooling. So the compressor is the second stage of cooling. This is only a one compressor unit, and the economizer is the first stage. Now it's 80 degrees outside, but I'm fooling it with my jumper into thinking that it's 50 degrees outside, that it's okay to economize today. And now the unit is running both the compressor, because it needs more cooling than just the economizer sometimes, and the economizer is open. The economizer is wide open, because it's trying to get to 55 degrees. It assumes that it's cold outside, because I'm fooling it. So this is, you guys got to think this through a little bit. So it's going to try to, it assumes that the outside air is always colder than the inside air when you tell it to. You can see what my discharge temp is here. It will run, it will keep the outdoor dampers wide open until this temperature here, the discharge temp of the unit going down to the store, gets below 55 degrees. But uh, just wanted to show you guys a few things on that so you understood a little bit better get a little more comfortable on how these work. Again, these terminals are all wired right, numbered right here. Uh, terminal 1, everyone, is Y1 in to the logic module. So that's, if you've got power on 1 here, that means your thermostat is calling for first stage of cooling. Y2 in to the logic module here. Then the logic module decides what cooling to run. So right now it's, it's uh, Y1 is running the actuator for the first stage of cooling. Y2 is being diverted within the actuator. Here's that little jumper I showed you guys from terminal two to five. And we've got power coming out of two, which is what's telling our compressor to run right now. So again, everyone, I hope that helps. I'm gonna do the next one is gonna be on a Jade controller because that is the future uh, they are. They are much easier to work on. Uh, it is my controller of choice for economizers, and it's the controller that I like to use on chilled water air handlers. It is a feature-packed little piece of equipment and uh, super easy to work on and uh, very technician-friendly. So, hope that helps everyone. Have a good evening from Minnesota. Uh, you guys all have a very, uh, very nice, pleasant, relaxing Memorial Day weekend.